Hi guys, today is a product review day. We got a wonderful bench multimeter from Zotec. They are sponsoring the product and they want us to know about this specific model. And in my opinion so far, I'm very impressed because when we are busy working in electronics, will be nice to have a multimeter that will give the reading of the measurement by speaking itself. The passive consume is less than 100 milliampers. And what the multimeter does is it displays the time on the main screen. The truth is the fact that we have the power button behind. It doesn't matter because it's a mechanical button. So once that we turn it on, we don't need to touch it anymore. We have the mode to select between the alarm and the clock setting or between the hours and the minutes up and down to set the timing and the selector between degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. Once that is connected, we don't need to do anything else there. The test lead says it's category 3 for 1000 volts and category 4 for 600 volts. This is the test lead, it's not a multimeter. The multimeter is a bench top multimeter and it has to be for its design category 1. We are not going to bring the digital multimeter to the electrical panel if it is a bench multimeter and not a portable hand one. So let's be clear about this. About the negative test lead is the same category and it has a button and this button is the one that triggers the unit for the unit to speak. It has a boy but the one who is speaking is a girl. The negative one has the banana connector inside and is framed with a metal ring. Probably I make a switch between this and this and that triggers the system. What is important to know is this is not a common one but you can use the banana connector here. You will just lose the capability to talk. So let's do some measurements and later we will continue with the multimeter features. Before that, and because I know you are asking for it, the test lead is soft. It's not so soft like some of the silicones, but yes, it's soft enough and very flexible. For the resistors, the first resistor is plus minus 5%, plus minus 5% the last one, and the rest of them are with 1%. Most of the time I am the one who is talking and saying the value. This time the multimeter will tell the value. 1.05 ohm. Ten point one two ohm. One hundred point one nine ohm. 0.9993 kilo ohm. 
10 point zero one two kilo ohm. One hundred point two three kilo ohm. One point zero zero five two megohm. Ten point zero five seven megohm. This unit is able to make readings up to 100 mega ohms. I don't have that value now, I can integrate the resistors, but probably we will leave it for another video. But it's important to know that there is a mega meter, mega ohm meter in this unit. Continue to test. In reality, not too bad. Let's remember the nickel film on them. If we clean it well, we will get better response anyhow as you watch it here the response is nice and perfect do you like it about the multimeter this is rubber all the border around and here is plastic the buttons are in silicon. It has volume control or I select the range with this knob. What is magic about this multimeter that I like it so much? Number one, it uses the 5 volts chargers. So I can use a charger with it or I can connect it to my solar panel and forget about the consume and to pay bills for this multimeter on the year. Now, I'm in Europe. I'm in the year 2022. We got some issues with the neighbors. And I don't want to say who is right, who is wrong or whatever, but it looks like all of us, the neighbors and us, we have to pay a high price for our disagreement. So in Europe, Chances are that it will be ours with not electricity. Didn't happen yet. I hope it's not going to happen. But if that's the situation, my bench multimeter works with batteries. The other one is the heating. We could be either without electricity or either without gas. And this laboratory last year was heated with gas and fuel electricity. This year I implement a solar panel preheater and my wife and my mother-in-law they said we need to put here a fireplace for wood in case of today we are testing that and the temperature is in 20, 26 degrees. And why is so important? Because the calibration of the equipment works with plus 5 degrees minus 5 degrees. If I am out of that range, I could be out of the calibration level of the device. So I have one device that let me to control the temperature on the screen without setting anything else. It's always present, works with batteries. I can handle it with my solar panel and do not take care of it anymore. And it has the watch too it has the clock also it has an alarm and people like me we have a problem i have to go very early to work every day so i cannot spend too much hours here on the night because when i said very early it means i have to wake up very early and travel a lot so to have an alarm 
to tell me, hey, stop here, leave everything, go to sleep, is also a great thing. More than the bench multimeter, I can play music because it has Bluetooth. I can use it as my computer speaker that does great because maybe you cannot appreciate it in the video, but I compare the audio system I have here and this sounds better. I like it a lot. So that's all the plus we have on it. It's good that the red test lead is indicated with red. But pay attention because compared with most multimeters, we have the amp meter here, the common and the voltage resistance and diode test in this other place. In the case of this multimeter, it's in the other direction. is true RMS and we assume true RMS is when we make the measurement in one kilohertz so let's see how much is true RMS in function of the frequency we are applying one volt RMS and the device is true RMS so now let's check until which frequency can we make a true measurement on it? I will increase the frequency now. In 2 kilohertz, it's dropping a little bit. After 1 kilohertz, in 1250 Hz, the voltage starts dropping. So that's good because the specification for true RMS is for 1 kHz. This is one quarter upper of it. The multimeter is not compromised to be in the margin. That's great. Now I am making the DC measurement. I know it's the worst cables I can use, but in the other multimeter, I have exactly the same kind of cables. So whatever bat is it, is the same condition for both multimeters. This is the voltage reading in a six digits and a half multimeter. This is my voltage reference. And the Sotec CT5566 second edition keeps like a champion. Something I like about this device, out of the huge screen that it has, it's compact size to be a benchtop multimeter, out of the aesthetics is uh, the millivolts scale, because in DC the scale is 0.05%. When we turn it off and turn it on is the moment that the Bluetooth make the links with the telephone. There is a little delay from the multimeter with the telephone to display the data. But if I wait just a fraction of a second, I can get the same value there. Zero point five two ohm. There are some controls there, but this application is not only for this device, it's for the other multimeters. So I don't have here 
near contact voltage. I don't have here the zero will be nice if I would have it in this application, right? It will be a class A for us, a zero the multimeter before to work, but it's okay. It's too much asking by the moment. So some of the functions I can use them and control from here and on others I cannot. So it's nice to have the control on hand because we can have the multimeter more than half meter away or two feet away and keep working with the telephone using it as a keyboard. This was a very quick review. In few words, I'm impressed with the device. Works great. Has extra features that I didn't expect. And to me, means a lot, just a single fact that it can talk. DC voltage 0 0.0003 volt. Its independence being a battery operate multimeter. The fact that I can use any adapter with it. The fact that I can connect it to the solar panel and forget about charging this device forever. Uh, means a lot. It's a uh, utility features that improved my laboratory. I saw the past model, this is the model SE, second edition. There is no major changes about the plastics or anything like that, but the features internally definitely is more than a second edition. It's a whole improvement is making from this multimeter a better device. The large screen, guys, believe me, you will see it nice there on the camera, but it's impressive here in the lab because this is totally black, this is totally white. It's uh, great to the eyes. I'm a LED lover because I'm from the generation of the 80s and you feel the sensation that you have a uh, light emission diodes there, the display. Great device with the precision we need as minimum to work in the electronics laboratory and to trust the test gear. So in my opinion, well done from Sotec. I really appreciate it. It was an honor to be sponsored to make this video and I can recommend this guy as a very good multimeter you can use and to my friends in Europe I will use the words probably the multimeter we will need. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video with more products review. If you think this speaking guy deserves a like, please give a like anyhow we need it in the channel to survive. Share it. See you soon.